Hey, what's up? How y'all doing, man? This is your boy, Courtney. Um, hope everybody's doing good today, this morning, this afternoon, what have you, wherever you are in the world. Um, I just wanted to offer you a quick um, health tip, you know, so, uh, uh, something you could substitute in your home for those of you trying to make the switch to, um, you know, more organic products and uh, are <clears throat> more concerned about the things you're putting into your body because you should be. <laughs> Anyway, um, coconut oil. Coconut oil. What can I say about coconut oil? Coconut oil is awesome. Um, I've been using coconut oil for, wow, quite some time. I've lost count. I pretty much substitute all my other oils with the exception of a select few, maybe grapeseed and and real uh, virgin olive oil but but everything else canola all that other stuff um i don't use that anymore part of the reason is because when you use these oils and most most ethnic people um use and when i say ethnic i mean indian chinese black anything other than you know anyway <laughs> that's besides the point um it's good because when you fry with it, it doesn't become carcinogenic. Um, and if you know anything about carcinogens, they are, are cancer-causing uh, oxidants, and they pollute the body. And of course, we all know the only way you can get sick is by either um, intoxication, right? Getting something you don't need, or deficiency. So toxification or deficiency, those are only two ways disease comes about. So anyway, coconut oil, back to the subject. Coconut oil is great, man. Um, you can use it for a variety of things, including skincare. My thing is, look, I try to use stuff. If, if you can't eat it, don't put it on your skin unless you just know, unless it's like for real, for real, right, right. I mean, but that's just a rule of thumb. I'm not, that's not written in stone to each his own. I just try to do that because it works for me. You know what I'm saying? So uh, anyway, without being um, super long-winded, uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the brand I use. This is Nutiva, okay? Nutiva, all right? And um, key thing here, man, all coconut oils are not created the same, okay? Just because it says coconut oil doesn't mean it's coconut oil. A lot of those are expeller pressed. You don't want that. You want cold pressed. <clears throat> what the cold pressing process does is it preserves the natural emollients, okay, and the minerals inside of the oil the way it was intended. Okay, um, dude, what can I say? Let me let me just read for you. Let me, let me show you the label so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Nutiva, all right, Nutiva Organic Extra Virgin Coconut Oil, world's best. Can you see that? world's best cooking oil all right hundred percent less cholesterol than butter I know that's probably blurry in the camera but trust me that's what it says and of course we have our friend the uh, damn I wish that would come out clear but that's the non GMO sticker for those of you worrying about if it's if it's real if you don't see that on your stuff and you roll in the dice <laughs> so anyway um, let me just read this to you, okay, verbatim from what from what the bottle says. And I, I'm sorry, I didn't intend for this video to be this long, but I'm just trying to help whoever wants it. So anyway, the facts on coconut oil. Coconut oil is one of the world's most nourishing foods. This creamy taste of the tropics is great for frying, baking, enhancing your favorite recipes, as well as body care. Nutiva's coconut oil is cold-pressed, not refined, deodorized, or bleached. Savor its naturally rich aroma and enticing light taste. Adding a pinch of salt reduces the coconut flavor. I mean, this smells and tastes just like coconut. It's awesome, trust me. Um, organic, made without pesticides, GMOs, and for those of you who don't know, GMOs are genetically modified organisms. Don't want that stuff in your body, trust me. Or hexane, versatile, ideal as a medium heat cooking oil, as a nutritious substitute in baking, and as a better than butter replacement on bread, for sure. Um, vegetables or popcorn as well, you can use it on that as well. Also, as a luscious oil for skin care, hair care, and massage, it's awesome. Trust me, 
So, um, oh, and also, man, they make this a 23 ounce, uh, 29 ounce, 54 ounce, and they make coconut manna, chia seed, and hemp seed oil. So, yeah, man, you know what I mean? And 1% of every, every bottle of this you buy goes back to sustainable agriculture. You know what I mean? Which means they don't deplete the earth and tear up the earth like they're doing to the rainforest and all that good stuff. But I don't want to sound like a hippie, but you can call me what you may. I just think that you should take care of your body. You only have one. So, uh, you know, if you're putting 87 octane gas <laughs> in your car, you're probably not driving a Bugatti or a Bentley or a Phantom or whatever, a Mercedes. You know, probably got a regular car. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but... They make 93 gas for a reason. So, you know, garbage in, garbage out. High tech in, high performance out. So that's what's up. And uh, also, man, just a quick encouragement. <laughs> we may have heard the term, um, you're waiting, waiting for your ship to come in. Listen, man, don't wait for your ship to come in. Swim out to it, <laughs> okay? All right? And remember, it's always, it's always too early to quit. It's always too early to quit. All right, but it's never too late to try and to get up and to continue. So, balance and progress to everyone. This is your boy Courtney. Hope you got something out of out of this. Again, that oil is Nutiva N U T I V A. And you can get it at your local Whole Foods or your organic or health foods uh, store, whatever that is for you. Deuces.